Hello guys, how are you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to update your old MacBook Air. I have a MacBook Air 13 inch mid 2014. Accordingly to Apple, we can only install Big Sur, but look at this. We have Monterey, Ventura and Sonoma. So we have three new operating systems that we cannot install accordingly to Apple. I am running Big Sur on this mid 2014 MacBook Air, but I want to go to Sonoma, which is the latest macOS. How can we do it? First of all, you're going to need a USB drive. I recommend you to have a USB 3.0 or up. I'm using a 32 gig, but you can use a 16 gig. That's okay. So you're going to put this on the computer and you can see the USB drive right here. We're going to format it, search for a disk utility and we're going to select view, show all devices. And this is our USB drive, right? We're going to click on the top and we're going to click erase. Once you click erase, you can leave it untitled, but the format is not going to be APFS. The format we're going to use is Mac OS Extended Journal. And here we're going to select the first one. All right. And we're going to click erase. That's it. Now our drive is there and it's formatted. It's ready for us to put what we need to put. All right. The second step, I want you to open your browser. You're going to search for open core legacy patcher open core legacy patcher click on getting started here click on download and build macOS installer and click on open core legacy patcher release apps from here scroll down and you're gonna download the zip file okay do you want to allow downloads on github allow it's probably gonna be here on downloads it's uh, 585 megabytes what we're going to do is we're going to move it from downloads and we're going to put it on applications. Just click and drag it to applications and that's it. From here you go to the launch pad and here you have it. Open core patcher. Click on it. Very fine open core patcher and it says open core patcher is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Open. So here guys we're going to build the patcher that is going to allow us to install macOS Sonoma on this old MacBook Air. All right, so the first thing we need to do is download and flash a macOS installer for your system. So you're going to click here and then create macOS installer. You can download a Mac installer or you can use an existing macOS installer. If we click download macOS installer, you can go Sonoma, Ventura, Monterey, Big Sur. We already have Big Sur, so we don't need this. We can go to Monterey, Ventura or Sonoma and we're going to select Sonoma, right? So you can click download. Now it's going to download Sonoma. This is going to take a long time. That's why I already download Sonoma for you guys. So I'm going to cancel this. I mean, in your case, if you don't have it, let it go. But in my case, I'm going to cancel this. Why? Because I already have one. Create macOS installer. Click on use existing macOS installer. And you found my installer. Why do you found my installer? Because I place it on applications. So if you have an installer, you need to place it here, guys. You see, install macOS Sonoma. So again, guys, you're going to create macOS installer. If you don't have a Sonoma, download it here. If you have it already and it's on your application folder, click here. It's going to find it and you just have to click on it. Open core patcher would like to access files. OK. Select local disk and here it is. Scan disk, 30 gigabytes. Click there. Are you sure you want to erase a scan disk? The patcher is just confirming that we're going to erase the USB drive. So we're going to click yes. Now it's going to create installer. It's going to ask me for my password. Click OK. And now it's installing the macOS Sonoma on the drive. Look, the drive disappeared and now it's doing that. Now it's validating the installer integrity. It says installer created successfully. Would you like to continue and install open core to this disk? You're going to click on yes. OK, yes. Click yes. Finish building your open core configuration. Would you like to install open core now? And you're going to click install it to disk. You're going to select the scan disk, the USB drive, 30 gigabytes. Click here. It's going to ask me for my password. Look at this. This is the EFI that is going to allow us to install it to the computer. Reboot to apply. Open core has finished installing to disk. You will need to reboot and hold the options key and select open core boot EFI option. OK, guys, so we're going to reboot the computer. Once we hear the Apple chime, we're going to click on option and then we're going to select the open core EFI option. OK, so let's do that. Reboot. 
Are you sure you want to restart your computer now? I'm gonna click restart. Once I hear the Apple chime, I'm gonna click option. Click option. But this is what we need to click. EFI boot, click there and click the arrow. And also click this, install Sonoma. Okay guys, so here, a lot of people like to delete the hard drive to do a clean installation. But if you have files that you want to save, it's better just to install it on top of the previous operating system. You do need a time machine backup before doing all this, all right? I just want to install it on top of my current Mac OS. And you're going to click continue. It says Mac OS Sonoma, continue, click agree. I have read and agreed to the terms, click agree. Now here, of course, you're going to select the Macintosh HD, right? The one that has 121 gigabytes. Click there and click continue. So this is going to take a while, guys. You don't need to do anything here. The computer is going to restart several times. Don't do anything until you see the Sonoma screen, all right? Let me try to put it on time-lapse mode. So we are ready. We're gonna configure this. Accessibility, not now. Continue. Click the wallpaper to show desktop items. Okay. And here I have all my stuff. I still have the drive here. Some people say to wait until we get a pop-up. Open Core Legacy Patcher has detected that you are booting Open Core from a USB or external drive. If you would like to boot your Mac normally without a USB drive plug in, you can install Open Core to the internal hard drive. Would you like to launch Open Core Legacy Patcher and install to the disk? We're going to click OK. And we are installing the Open Core to the actual hard drive. Finish building your Open Core configuration. Would you like to install Open Core now? Install to disk. And here you're gonna select this one, okay? You're gonna select this. We are installing Open Core on the SSD. Put your password. Reboot to apply. Open Core has finished installing to disk. You will need to reboot and hold the Option key and select Open Core Boot EFI options. Would you like to reboot? Before clicking Reboot, I want you to eject this USB, all right? Right click and eject. You're ejecting the drive. Now, now you're going to click Reboot. But remember, you're going to have to press the Option key. Reboot, restart. And when you hear the Apple chime, you're going to click the Option key. Click Option. Okay, so you have the EFI boot on the SSD. You see, that's the icon for the SSD, not the... That's why I removed the USB, so you're not confused. You click there, and then you click Macintosh HD. Okay, we're going to put our password. So as you can see, it takes a little bit to start the Mac OS, guys. That's normal. This is a 2013 MacBook Air with 4 gigabytes of RAM only. Okay, guys, so I think that's it. Let me check here about this Mac. And you can see that we are running macOS Sonoma 14.3. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way you can help me so I can create more videos. And also, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can buy this USB drive that you're going to need it. So why not, you know, buying it from my link and helping me a little bit, you know? Thank you so much for watching this video. I see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.